हेलो हेलो यस मैम कैन आई टॉक टू सर वंस प्लीज कैन यू गिव फोन टू सर प्लीज ओके ओके हेलो प्रेरणा ये तो सर हेलो सर गुड इवनिंग सर गुड इवनिंग sir my son is suffering from gerd problem and now he is having severe heartburn sir mute yourself okay mute yourself sir mute yes so good evening everyone and welcome to our today's session myself prerna from the divine school of homeopathy sangamner today we have with us one of the most amazing homeopath from sangamner having 31 years of experience and our respected sir dr rasa sir has been practicing homeopathy since 1991 and have treated thousands of patients only with homeopathy not only locally but also internationally in around 29 countries via online consultations sir took his degree from pune university and topper of pune university in 1990 and passed his md degree from city in organ and subject he also done hmd from british institute of homeopathy in 1998 sir has also done research research work on extremely hard to cure cases such as cancer dmd avian infertility etc sir is an excellent speaker and has conducted many seminars at sai swami hospital and also delivered many amazing seminars so i request dr rasa sir to start with our today's guru special session so please dr rasa sir thank you prerna thank you introducing me and thanks to all of you my dear friends it's again a uh, good evening to all of you and basically again uh, i am a off lecture speaker so i have decided that something should be shared with you and something which i have learned the way i used to learn i want to share with you and there are many aspects i want to share with you so this this is this, this is the time which i like more because i can share many things with all of you so today i will going to share something which is very important from Uh, from materia medica aspect and that you will going to learn in today's session so i will share the screen first and then we'll discuss about the things i will share and then we'll start with the things okay so just a minute yes so warm welcome to all of you on this seminar the thursday seminar and i'm always happy to share something with you because you are you are having an eager to learn the homeopathy and that's why many participants who have joined from distance also for two day sessions ali is there from pakistan then dr karnik she is there from the Uh, from abroad she had joined so these these are the things as many 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 things are there in today's session so warm welcome to all of you and let us go with that subject the understanding the materia medica a big subject and big subject in such a way because materia medica itself is a big and that's why it is quite difficult to understand the materia medica how to approach materia medica there are many 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 facets everyone comes out with different view but when i look towards the materia medica my aspect to look towards the materia medica is rather different it is always different and that's why i want to share with you many many more things just how i approach towards the materia medica how i think 
I want to impose you on your mind the logic, the way I used to think. Because logic is the basic thing in homeopathic practice with which you have to go ahead. You have to learn it in such a manner. And that's why it is too important to understand the logic. So we'll start with the subjects and again, warm welcome to all of you and let us go ahead. So what is Amateria Medica? Amateria Medica is a big, big, big thing. When proved on healthy human beings, you get lot, lot of things and which are collected over there. The subjectives are there. There are objectives are there. And there are many more things, but which we forget. Many times we forget. Many times we know, but we, we don't know how to apply, how to think. And that's why it is too important to go ahead with this. So let us start with the subject, Materia Medica. And I want to share one important case. And this is the case. Just go through it. This is the case. What do you observe? Just see and what do you observe? Let us see. What do you feel? This is the case. That's all. I'm not going to tell you anything. A patient has not told me anything. And there was nothing to share with that. This is this with this the patient was there. This is too important. Yes. Many things should crowd in our mind when we look towards such patient. Just observe clearly. Sir has said rickets. Okay, one point is rickets, but is it a ricket? Just find it out. Whenever rickets is there, there is a weakness along with the virus deformity. It is, a, it is a bowing, bowing of the extremities, you can see. But here, you, you, you never see the bowing of extremities. What do you observe more than that? Just look toward the picture properly, and then you will find. I got the prescription just looking at him, and that was the very perfect prescription for that patient. But I thought a lot regarding it. When you... See, the such types of patients you can see walking on the roads and you can think why, why this, this fellow is walking like this. You just observe his knees are knocking to each other. They are coming close to each other. That is the first important thing. Second important thing is that just look towards his foot. He is standing only on his, his heels are up and he is standing on his toes. This is too important. He is walking with toes, not with the keeping the whole foot down. This is too important to understand. See, such types of patients happens to be there because, because they are having the problems. They have many problems. Here you have to think. You have to think whether it is rickets, whether it is because of the any deformity in the bones, whether it is because of the some problems in the spinal cord, whether it is because of the some problem in the brain, many things you have to think about it. And that thinking guides you toward the proper way. So if a patient walks, he walks like this. He walks like this. That is a tottering totally. He is not able to. And every time, whenever he puts, he puts only toes, not his seals. Is, it is not like flat. It is just a toes on toes he walks. This happens whenever the problem lies basically at the level of the spine, at the level of the anterior lateral uh, spinal cord tracts. And because of which there is a musculopathy which develops, generally muscular dystrophy, specifically in Duchenne muscular dystrophy. These children always walk like this. These children have this tottering gait, spastic gait. These children always keep their toes on the, they cannot keep their heels down. In fact, the tendons behind the posterior tendons, they get contracted and because of which they are not able to put it down. And this happens only because, because, because the problem lies in the spinal cord. These things you have to understand. First important thing, whenever you go ahead with the 
homeopathy never think just what the patient is talking it is not you, when you look towards only superficial thing you cannot treat such types of deformity such types of difficult cases here what patient says is not important what you observe is very important what you perceive is very important so this is this is the case nothing more in that case was there and this happens many a times when you get pathological cases in dmd cases you get such types of patient always in front of you and then question arises what you are going to treat these are the deformities which develops because of degeneration of the spinal cord where there is a degeneration the remedy should be that much capable which has that degenerative capacity the miasm is definitely a sepulity so if it is miasm is sepulity you have to think of a remedy which has that sepulity taint that remedy has that capacity to show this all futures as it is and this is what we have to understand so i want to share this nothing was there in that case i have not uh consider anything i have got to the remedy and that remedy worked beautifully in this case so this what is this just go ahead this is genu volgum very very nicely said over there by akshita yes but why this is so it was because of the posterior and lateral sp sp lateral spinal cord tract degeneration it was because of that and this this causes the the children who used to keep their toes only on the ground the heel never touches the ground and this is given in our materia medica only thing is that when we read our materia medica every sentence defines you something it gives you idea exactly yes this is the case this is what the remedy is there so remedy should strike your mind at that level when you understand the remedy in such a manner so remedy i prescribed anyone any idea not the students of divine school no, not the people who are the joined with the divine school other than divine school members specifically any any remedy so ruta abrotanum anything else kali iodide sakshi one khade prepared from lethara sativa plumbum metallicum yes yes sakshi you are very correct you are very very correct this is very typical with the lethara sativa you have learned it this lethara sativa was poisoning even in psm also See, this is too important to understand. This remedy, if you read from the Borix Mat Remedy, whatever I am discussing with you is from the Borix Mat Remedy. Lethara sativus affects the lateral and anterior columns of the cord, does not produce pain. Reflexes are always increased. Every sentence is important. It starts directly with the first. Affects the lateral and anterior columns of the cord. See. first sentence defines you if you are thorough with clinical knowledge you can apply the remedy this is too important to understand this remedy goes very close to the motor neuron disease along with the plumbum metallicum so you must know these sclerotic conditions multiple sclerosis other than plumbum metallicum lethara sativa is one more important remedy one should not forget and there is no pain pain is not the problem of the patient so this is too important does it does not produce pain reflexes always increase see what what is this reflexes always always increased so reflexes means you must have a hammer in your hand you see the ankle jerk you see the knee jerk how these people react just take a knee jerk and there is a very severe exaggerated reaction reflexes are always 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 increased the paralytic affections of lower extremities the spastic paralysis very important word but we must know what is the spastic paralysis we must understand what is spastic paralysis the spasticity is a very important entity one must understand if you are able to 
if you are, you have observed such type of spasticity in the patient then you can treat that and for that purpose it is very important to understand what is this so spastic paralysis let us see it is it looks like that it is a hereditary condition also known as a familiar spastic paraparesis or stumpel lorenz syndrome gradually get worsens over the time group of rare inherited disorders that causes weakness and stiffness in the leg muscles and this is too important the leg muscles becomes very stiff and they becomes contracted but doesn't have a strength doesn't carry a strength it looks like that what are the symptoms just see what are the symptoms there is there is lower limb weakness there is involuntary spasms muscle stiffs and spasticity lack of sensation in the feet difficult for them to bend their toes upwards as a result of having weak hip joints because hip muscles they gets very emaciated some people may eventually need to use the walking cane or wheelchair see this is too important these these are the people which you have to Uh, you can observe if they want to want they have to take the help of wheelchair dmd patients after 20, 12 years 13 years they goes into wheelchair because because they don't have strength muscles are hypertrophied but they don't have strength they walks on toes earlier and later on gets converted and then sits in one place this is spastic paralysis which develops over there there is next next word other than that was a lateral sclerosis so what is lateral sclerosis again question arise we never read materia medica like that what do we do we just keep it in our mind lateral sclerosis sclerosis we mug, mug the thing and write it in answer paper we never understand what is lateral sclerosis we don't ever understand what is sclerosis basically sclerosis is nothing but the degenerative pathology and see what degenerative pathology so this is this is what happens sclerosis it is a hardening or in induration of an organ or tissue especially that due to the excess growth of fibrous tissue second meaning is hardening within the nervous system especially brain and spinal cord resulting from degeneration of nervous elements as myelin sheath third is thickening and hardening of the layers in all in the wall of an artery but here in the when we think about the lateral sclerosis it is always always related with the lateral sclerosis anterior sclerosis in the spinal cord and these myelin sheaths of the nerves gets hardened they becomes functionless and because of which the paralysis which develops over there that type of sclerosis which you can see with the lateral sclerosis so problems are always with the nervous system the peripheral nervous system right from the basically in the spinal cord and you get such types of arises next word in the boric matter medica is very vain see every word for spastic paralysis spastic paralysis followed by the uh, earlier one that is the um, what we have just seen and then very very what is the very very again we have to find it out what is very 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 is nothing but the vitamin b1 deficiency it is thymine deficiency it is caused because of poor diet or because of alcoholism many a times symptoms include loss of appetite there is weakness the pain in limbs shortness of breath swollen feet and legs treatment includes b1 supplement eating more of b1 rich foods such as whole grain cereals beans beef etc the symptoms are also loss of appetite weakness all those features already we have discussed over there this is how few features you can find it out with very very muscular weakness the problems with coordination of muscles the heart sometimes enlarged first or fast heart rate peripheral neuropathy limbs loss of appetite sensation of pins and needles shortness of breath swelling of, of the extremities so see the nervous system is getting affected over there and which you can get in this lateral sclerosis very typical features lateral sclerosis and very very 
So you have to understand what is given in the remedy. These are the features which are given in boric mat remedy. What is next? What boric says? The next word is again important: athetosis from the boric mat remedy. See, all significantly defines the remedy. That's all. If you understand this clinical terminology, you can apply it directly. See, athetosis. What is athetosis? First, open your dictionary. Find it out. What is athetosis? So athetosis is defined as slow writing, slow writing, continuous or worm-like movement of the limbs. Then what is this? The neck, face, and tongue can also be affected. The athetosis usually occurs as a result of injury to the basal ganglia. In children, injury often occurs in the neonatal period, and many forms of cerebral palsy are athetotic. Athetosis is symptoms primarily caused by marbling. or degeneration of the basal ganglia this degeneration is most commonly caused complication at the birth or by huntington's disease in addition to the rare cases in which the damage may also arise later in the life due to the stroke or trauma the two complications of particular interest are intranatal asphyxia or neonatal jaundice these are two important causes behind the athetosis so this is this is what is we have to understand first what the terminology if you are able to understand this terminology then it is possible to treat them and this is what i want to tell you that when you are reading the materia medica read sentence and sentence think about it find it out how the patient will approach to you how he will going to present to you if that picture is there then it becomes quite easy to go to the remedy see what he says further infantile paralysis again one more word all the five pathological points which he has covered in first sentence only and that defines the remedy that's all that is lathara sata was rest of the remedy if you don't read you, it doesn't matter here is the remedy which is hidden over there so see what he says further regarding the infantile paralysis infantile paralysis is nothing but the acute anterior polio myelitis it is polio epidemic paralysis polio in maiden species acute wasting paralysis and acute infectious inflammation of the anterior horns of the gray matter of the spinal cord and this is an acute systematic disease in which paralysis may or may not occur in the majority of patient disease is mild being limited to the respiratory or gastrointestinal such constituting the minor illnesses or abortive type which lasts only for few days in major illnesses paralysis or weakness of the muscles occurs with the loss of superficial and deep reflexes in such cases characteristic lesions are found in the gray matter of the spinal cord medulla motor area of cerebral cortex and cerebellum so see latharus has this latharus has problem not only in the spinal cord it has a problem right from basal ganglia right from the brain the degeneration and this is what is latharus is there so infantile paralysis this is very important feature other than plumbum mate you can think about this remedy and this i want to highlight you when you are reading the mater medica never leave that every sentence now you read the rest of the thing this first sentence from the morik materia medica defines the action defines the depth defines the pace and that guides you to understand yes this this remedy has that capacity yes plumbum has this capacity latharus is having this capacity and that you have to get and then he says after influenza and wasting exhaustive diseases where there is much weakness and heaviness slow recovery of nerve power think of latharus at all and this happens many a times if patient is bedridden for 15 days because of some complex disorder and when he recovers he is not fully recovering he doesn't have that strength this is the remedy sometimes it is a, a very good remedy when there is want of nerve power post chemotherapy because because of chemotherapy it used to cause a degeneration regeneration of nervous system then this remedy work sleepy constant yawning yes this is one presentation person is sleepy and he is constantly yawning and this is very important feature mind as usual because 
new because of neuropathy the depression the hypochondriacal vertigo when standing with the eyes closed yes but this is not the cream cream is first first sentence there is the remedy hidden and in the extremities part mouth these are the features burning pen in tip of tongue with tingling and numbness of the tongue and lips as if scalded but these are the features again never defines yes here the remedy is defined this is very important to understand see what he says the tips of the fingers are numb this is this is where the numbness is there basically the toes the tips of the toes are numb tremulous tottering gait tottering gait means they walks like this this is the typical feature excessive rigidity of the legs spastic gait if you if you check them if you ask them to bend the knee like this 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 what do they do you if you ask them this this cogmill rigidity like uh, spasticity is there very difficult to move when when you come take it um, with if you ask them to bend the knee if they are able to bend then they ask them to extend again the problem arises they do this like this this is this is very difficult so much of spasticity and rigidity is there and it is because of the lateral and anterior sclerosis knees knocks against each other when walking just we have seen that knees are like that they are coming together and legs are going in this direction cramps in legs worse cold and cold feet cannot extend or cross the legs when sitting he is not able to cross he cannot sit in cross leg position it is not at all possible this is lethargic myelitis inflammation of muscle sheath with marked spastic symptoms rheumatic paralysis this word is very important because of rheumatism the person becomes paralyzed he is not able to walk so it is neuropathy as well as rheumatic myelitis which is causing the paralysis over there gluteal muscles and lower limbs are emaciated see gluteal muscles and that's why these people are not able to stand they are not able to bear their weights because gluteal muscles are absolutely emaciated legs are blue swollen if hanging down stiffness and lameness of the ankles and knees toes do not leave the floor see underline this if you have opened the borix matra medica toes do not leave the floor heels do not touch the floor this is the sentence of the letharas and diver where you can catch this remedy directly direct immediate it, every sentence is given and you can watch that in patient muscles of the calves very tense the calf muscles they are hardened duchenne muscular dystrophy you get such types of hardness very commonly patient sits bent forward strengthens with difficulty they sit and when they want to strength it is very difficult for them there, there is no capacity there is no it is it was not possible and here the lathyrus is there so lathyrus when you have to understand you have to understand the neuropathy you have to understand the features explained at the, in the extremities and first sentence of lathyrus if you understand by heart you will apply it many a times in your opinion and such types of cases are quite common with homeopath because they don't have a treatment in allopathy not at all we can give a better life to such patients with the help of such a remedy if we if we are lucky enough to get it an early before the deformity is developed we they have good prognosis and that's why it is too important to go ahead with this and last thing, last slide where he explains lethargic attacks it is urine increased bladder reflex it is all the reflexes are increased because of the anterior and lateral sclerosis frequent must hurry else voided involuntary and this is involuntary urination as a result of sclerosis dose boric has mentioned third potency but i used to tell you that 30 is always useful 30 200 one m these are the potencies i used to use regarding the lethargic attacks i have used 30 and many times i have repeated the remedy at least for a week and it works so this this remedy one should not forget and first important thing what i want to highlight to you that if being a homeopathic student you should not 
miss the things you should read every sentence every word learn by heart understand the pathology what is given in the dictionary what is allopathic aspect modern aspect what is the diagnosis what are the, what is the differential diagnosis is there is there anything which is mentioned in our materia medica regarding it all those things are very much necessary and if you are able to catch this then you can get the better results in your practice while dealing with the pathology so my dear friends this is what i want to share thank you being there and you should be always there with the divine school of homeopathy my suggestion those who have not yet joined our school join and you can learn a lot in this session my suggestion is that be a member of divine school of homeopathy it is not so uh, hard to join who life membership is only 500 rupees and be a member so that you will be there and learn such types of things many times we can meet in this thursday session so that we can have a chat you can join by contacting dr prerna her number is there you can contact her and you can go ahead with the divine school of homeopathy and i'm really thankful to the all members who have invited me for today sessions to share my thoughts regarding the materia medica it has it has been decided in the morning only and then i have prepared it so thank you very much being amit we have joined little bit late today but uh, i will upload these sessions on uh, our um, regular youtube channel so you can watch them so thank you sakshi thank you harshal dr shirsagar sir who is there so thanks a lot because of you it has a, i have a lot of interest to share my thoughts with all of you and whenever time permits we'll definitely meet in this session so which can give me a good strength to discuss something and to share something and you should be always there with your queries so that we can discuss many things in it's such a thing so thank you maithili any query regarding this thank you ifrat sir yes hello huh? uh, sir he is better now he is feeling better now sir my son okay thank I you i have shown you now uh, give uh, knocks from the give give three doses only after three doses he will be all right sir, now he is stable now he is sitting like this sir stable in just, stable just condition minute. i want to see the video just just a minute Yes. Nana, yes, 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 yes. This is good one. Yes. Thank you very much, sir. One thing, he has not passed stool since four days, sir. Uh, I think he will pass it today. Today or tomorrow. Okay. Huh? Okay. Uh, actually, he had the same. Moment. Uh, he had the same complaint about last year, sir. Okay. And severe, and whenever he takes some spicy food or something, he is getting this complaint. Okay. And I am continue. I am I am giving him lycopodium. And now lycopodium zero by six. I am continuing, sir. Okay, you send me mm -hmm. his case. We'll discuss. Okay, so that's what I was asking you to discuss yeah. about GERD last. But this okay. is the main problem. Okay. Uh, okay. I, after giving the third dose, uh, third dose, I will send you the message. Sir. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you everyone. Thanks. We'll meet again. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Okay. Good night. Thank you Thank for you. today's session. Hmm. It was a wonderful session. Hmm. Most knowledgeable. Hmm.